Right, well I've got a mega big job today. I came to do the cutlass bearing, and which is a simple 20 pound fix. And when I came to take the stern tube off, this cavity here had hardwood in, and after four decades, it had run its course basically. So there was no point putting a new cutlass bearing in with a rotten piece of wood. So all this rotten wood now has been removed and I'm not going to be putting any more wood in there because then the same thing can happen. So this entire area here is all now going to be laminated. I had a lucky discovery whilst doing this because this area here has exposed the wood that is in the section here where the metal is and it is perfect. There is absolutely no rot at all and it's bone dry. Okay, what I've done here now is I've sealed up that wood at the bottom and the sole purpose of that is to protect the wood underneath. And we just put a little bit on the top as well because there's a couple of holes there we should have held the wood in place and they can leak and ruin the project so basically we're going to come back to this another day but in the meantime it's going to let everything dry out okay it's raining again so today we're going to sort out the replacement cutlass bearing here it is here it's not actually that bad to be fair but there was a little bit of play which was spotted about 2014 so I had four or five years of it after that so we're about to get this done this is only 20 bucks and this here is the stern tube the cutlass bearing would have gone in somewhere like that and what the previous fitter had done is they drilled that hole and they'd filled it with brass not too sure what we're gonna do about that yet but we'll have to come to it later but it looks like he went a little bit too far and this is the, I don't know what the word is basically, it's the last housing that goes on before the propeller. So we're going to get all this sorted today, which means spending more money. Ah, boats. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reverse this tube here, because it's got a nicer thread there. And I'm going to tap in some holes here, M6, and I'll be using... A stainless steel version of these in there. Okay, the cutlass bearing has arrived, the replacement one, and I think it worked out about 30 bucks in the end. Not an awful lot of difference really with the one I've taken off, but there's obviously wear there. Right, this is peel ply around the stern tube, and I put a temporary cutlass bearing in so everything's straight. I'm starting the laminating process now. What we have in here is a six millimeter fiberglass backing. And I'm going to use that to build the foundation to laminate out, but we can't really do anything until that sets. This is the fiberglass that I've used for the backing. There is actually a void behind where I've started laminating and I'm going to be filling that up from inside the boat and we'll be drilling a hole and just literally flooding it but I'm going to be using uh, polyester resin which is mixed with um, fiberglass chopped strand so it's nice and thick it's gonna be like liquid P40 basically All right, a little bit tricky getting this in here's the new cutlass bearing here I'm using a large socket and some studding to pull it in Right, well we got that in. Waiting for some stainless steel grub screws to go in here. I've just got to drill out a little bit in there just so the dome top can go in. Right, well we've done a dry fit now. And um, the shaft is disconnected from the gearbox, but that is just feeling really, really nice. Right, well she's about to go back on now. What I've done is I've put a uh, grub screw in here 
and on the other side so that won't slide around I put a backing plate on here because I've got to fabricate the um, area around the stern tube and I couldn't find any brass or bronze bolts so I looked online and apparently stainless steel is going to be okay so that's going to go back on now happy days okay here we are some few days later times passed rivers rolled and what I have done is I've been filling in this void here we started off with some heavy fiberglassing going on and then to finish off the last bits I made up my own concoction of like a, a fiberglass filler and I added loads and loads and loads of chopped up chopped strand and made this fantastic thick paste now what we're going to do is we're actually going to go in now and fiberglass this right well there's the first layer on there now I'm going to come back to this in about an hour's time let's carry on building it up it's very labor intensive actually right well we've been busy laminating this up now it's easier for me to come back the next day and sand these down and try and get it to go around the corner so I'm not worried about that and tomorrow I will come along and uh, give this a bit of a sand down and uh, we've got to do the rest of all this bit here but we're getting to the end now and I think it's starting to come together very 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 nice right time for some sanding Right, we now have the underwater primer on so once that's dried normally I'd like to leave it for a day or so but I think the weather's going to change I want to get it finished up so once that's dried we can put the anti-foul on put the propeller on and that's the job done so so on and so forth ain't that right guitar man Right, well that's a wrap from the Norfolk Broads and it's perfect timing because the clouds are coming, I knew they were coming. Right, see you in the next video folks, Abianto.